वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग डेयर फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर विक्रांत सुधाकर पाएकर आई एम वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन गोखले एजुकेशन सोसायटी आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड सायंस कॉलेज जवाहर पालघर वेलकम इन द सीरीज ऑफ फोटो केमिस्ट्री दिस इज द फिफ्थ लेक्चर वी आर डूइंग ऑन द फोटो केमिस्ट्री सो इन द अर्लियर टॉपिक्स वी हैव गॉन थ्रू वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट टर्म्स रिलेटेड विद द फोटो केमिस्ट्री वॉट इज सिंगलेट स्टेट वॉट इज अ ट्रिपलेट स्टेट वॉट इज अलाउ ट्रांजिशन वॉट इज अ फॉर्बिडन ट्रांजिशन्स जैबलॉन्सकी डायग्राम फोटो सेंसिटाइजेशन एंड सो ऑन इन द अर्लियर पार्ट वी हैव सीन नॉरिश टाइप वन क्लीवेज एंड वी हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट इट इज अ टेम्परेचर डिपेंडंट क्लीवेज यू विल ऑब्जर्व इन टर्म्स ऑफ किटोन्स सो इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर लेक्चर सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू सी मेनली द नॉरिश टाइप टू क्लीवेज एंड फोटो रिडक्शन so let us see what is norish type 2 cleavage so this is the type of the reac reaction which is given by the carbonyl compound containing gamma hydrogen atoms so this is the first criteria your carbonyl compound must com contain gamma hydrogen means alpha beta and then gamma and they undergo intramolecular gamma h transfer under photolytic condition to give bi radicals and which then undergo cleavage basically beta cleavage to give alkene and enol compounds and we know that enol compounds are being unstable they tautomerize into aldehyde or ketone so whatever the higher ketone you are taking that is being converted into lower ketone in ca in case of the norish type 2 cleavage so basically we will see what are the gamma h hydrogen compound which compound are considered to be containing gamma hydrogen so these all compounds from the ketone family so this is a two pentanone first second third fourth and fifth five carbon so first carbon next carbon two carbon group will be alpha then beta and then gamma so this gamma carbon is nothing but ch3 groups so ch3 groups contain three gamma hydrogens so we can write this particular group as a ch2h so this particular group is eligible to give norish type 2 cleavage where you can expect abstraction of hydrogen which hydrogen gamma h hydrogen then two hexanone 1 2 3 4 5 again this there is a ch2 group so there are two gamma hydrogens so this compound is also eligible to give norish type 2 cleavage then the cyclic compounds just like a cyclohexanone so it is also having uh, gamma h hydrogen so these compounds are said to be giving norish type 2 cleavage so let us see how this particular norish type 2 cleavage takes place and what is the general mechanism so we have taken the the carbonyl compound basically ketone which contain gamma hydrogen so they get attacked by the photochemical radiation that is up to 330 nanometer so as a result of that you will say this particular compound basically we know that these are the carbonyl compounds and carbonyl compounds contain three types of electron sigma which is present in single bonds pi electrons which is you can observe in terms of carbonyl uh, carbon oxygen double bond and n electron which is present on the in the form of lone pair of electron on the oxygen so here you can ex expect n2 pi star or pi 2 pi star transitions so whatever the com carbonyl compound you are taking it by the attack of photochemical radiation it will get excited into excited state at higher excited state basically it is a triplet excited state then there is a abstraction takes place this particular before the abstraction there this particular double bond and this particular ch bond undergo photolytic cleavage the cleavage will be just like a homolysis where the double bonds will break in the this uh, symmetrical manner so as a result you will observe the two radicals will form in the same case there is a abstraction of h will takes place so what are the gamma h 
it will get transfer or abstracted to oxygen so here you can see this particular h which is coming from gamma carbon so as a result you will see there is a bi radical form where we will expect the bi radical one at this particular carbonyl carbon and one at this particular carbon so this particular bi radical then undergo cleavage of this particular bond so this particular bond is alpha beta alpha beta so basically this is called as a beta cleavage and as a result of this particular cleavage that mean breaking of this particular bond you can expect one part which is being olefin which is coming from this and another part which is enol so it is coming from this so the molecule get fragmented into two parts and as a result you will get formation of alkene compound and enol enol means having carbon carbon double bond also and oh group also and this enols being get tautomerized to give ketones so you are taken higher ketone higher means in terms of the carbon atom which is having uh, six uh, higher carb higher carbons which then convert into lower carbon compounds so we can say the higher ketones get converted into lower ketones so this is a general mechanism you will observe in case of norish type 2 cleavage so let us see what are the basic conditions you need to fulfill in case of the norish type 2 cleavage first case is gamma h abstraction so whenever the gamma h abstraction takes place your molecule is in the triplet excited state so there occurs the formation of six member transition state whenever the gamma hydrogen is being abstracted there occurs six member transition state 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and during this six member transition state the hydrogen gamma hydrogen is transferred to oxygen from the carbonyl group then the second step is beta cleavage so beta bond cleavage takes place and as a result you will get formation of alkene and enol so this is a thing you must remember in case of the norish type 2 cleavage let us take the example 2 pentanone so as we know that 2 pentanone does it contain gamma hydrogen yes this is alpha beta and gamma so there are three gamma hydrogen so what will happen this molecule undergo photolysis so it will get excited and during excitation this particular bond and this particular bond undergo homolytic cleavage and you will get a formation of bi radical species and now you can observe this particular hydrogen which is present on fifth number carbon get transferred to oxygen so we can say the oxygen abstract the gamma hydrogen and as a result you will get the formation of bi radical then this particular bi radical then undergo cleavage to give olefin so olefin is coming from this particular part means you will get the formation of ethene ch2 double bond ch2 and what will be the enol form 1 2 3 so there must be a enol this and this enol again tautomerized to give ketone so you are started with the five member ketone and you got the lower ketone that is containing three carbon that is acetone so five three and here there are other carbons so this is how we can say the pentanone get converted into in alkene and ketone so there are three carbons here and two carbons here 3 plus 2 5 and he this particular compound contain five carbons so this is a norish type to cleavage so what we need to remember the gamma position in carbonyl uh, compound is third atom which is away from the carbonyl group so this is a one two third atom from the carbonyl group and the hydrogen atom attached to the gamma carbon atom is removed by the photochemical means 
by photolytic cleavage uh, you can uh, get the transfer and the water the biradical form they undergo cleavage to give alkene and enol so this is a uh, case you can expect in case of the nourish to cleavage it is very important go through this particular uh, mechanism now we are going to see the topic that is phenomenon of photo reduction photo reduction as we know that the reduction phenomena what is the reduction the aldehyde aldehyde or carbonyl compound get reduced into alcohols so this is a reduction so what is the example benzophenol into benzphenacol so this is a reduction so let us see what is the concept of photo reduction the photo reduction involve excitation of molecules from ground state into photo excited state at 330 nanometer in presence of isopropyl alcohol as a solvent there occurs abstraction of hydrogen atom from isopropyl alcohol so it is basically photo excitation takes place and as a result the isopropyl alcohol acts as a source for hydrogen atoms for the reduction as for the reduction reaction we need hydrogen atoms so it is taken out from the isopropyl alcohol and what is the example of photo reduction conversion of benz benzophenone as it is a ketone compound into benz pinacol so it is a alcohol compound so let us see the reaction what is basically you must be knowing the structure of benzophenone c6h5 co c6h5 so two molecules of benzophenone they undergo photolytic excitation with the presence of isopropyl alcohol and there occurs a bond formation in between the carbonyl group of two benzophenone molecules and here you get the benzo benzpinacol so this particular benzpinacol is just like a 1 to diol compound where you will observe two oh groups are there so there is a single bond form in between the two carbonyl group so how this particular conversion takes place in the photo reduction way we are going to see in the next slide so what will happen in the first steps there are four steps let us concentrate this is a very important uh, concept so benzophenone is present at ground state that is h0 state as we know that this is a ketone compound so it might expect the different electronic transition in presence of light of wavelength 330 nanometer so here you can expect n2 sigma star or pi to pi star excitation as a result you will get the molecule get converted from singlet excited state into triplet excited state through inter system crossing as we know that singlet to triplet is a forbidden transition it is not allowed but as we know that these two states are having equal energy so there occurs inter system crossing and benzophenone get converted into triplet excited state this is the first step so in the next case what will happen this particular triplet excited state of benz benzophenone then abstract the hydrogen from the isopropyl alcohol so this is structure of isopropyl alcohol ipa isopropyl alcohol so this particular hydrogen which is being attached to the oxygen it is being abstracted by this benzophenone and as a result you will get the formation of ketyl radical so this particular pi bond break and this particular oh bond break in the homolytic fashion the h will go here so there are two radicals will be present one on this particular carbonyl carbon and another on oxygen so here you can observe first case formation of ketyl radical so blue color h means it is coming from ipa and this particular alkoxy radical which is form in the second step so in the second step we get the formation of ketyl radical so this particular radical is ketyl one remember then next third step then now we are going to take the second molecule that is second molecule of benzophenone as we know that there are two molecules take part in the this particular reaction the second molecule in the triple excited state undergo breakdown of this particular pi bond 
and this particular another CH bond which is present in the IPA. It is already there in the second step. So this particular bond will break and this particular H will now get abstracted, abstracted by the oxygen. So again you will get the ketyl radical formation from the second molecule of benzophenone. So this is a ketyl radical form which is again in the second step. This is again a biradical form from the IPA. So this particular biradical will then combine these two uh, free, uh, free radical will combine and they will form the pi bond and you will get the formation of acetone okay and what will happen about this ketyl radical so now we will get in the third step we get again the formation of ketyl radical so there are two ketyl radicals which are being formed first in the second step and another one in, is in the third step with abstraction of proton so 2H are abstracted from the IPA so in the fourth step that is in the last step what will happen the ketyl radical form in the first step second step and ketyl radical form in the third step they will combine and they will form a single covalent bond by combination of 1 1 electron and this particular bond will be formed in between the two carbonyl carbon and you will get the formation of benz pinacol here you can see this particular structure this two H this H and this particular H it is coming from the isopropyl alcohol so here you can understood what is the role of isopropyl alcohol in the photo reduction case so why this particular reaction is called as a reduction for the reduction you need two hydrogens and both these two hydrogens are taken out from the isopropyl alcohol so as a result the benzophenone is get converted into benz pinacol so in general what we can say in the photo reduction that is conversion of benzophenone into benz pinacol what happens during the reaction benzophenone is reduced benzophenone is reduced into benz pinacol while isopropyl alcohol is oxidized to acetone so this is the thing we have to remember one when one species get reduced the other must get oxidized so what is being reduced benzophenone reduced into benz pinacol by addition of hydrogen and isopropyl alcohol is get oxidized by removal of hydrogens into acetone so this is a photo reduction concept you must have understood this is a four step mechanism which takes place through abstraction of hydrogen then combination of two ketyl radical in the last step to form the benz pinacol I hope so you understood this particular concepts uh, in the topic of photochemistry we have covered different concepts in the uh, photochemistry go through this particular uh, five lectures on the topic photochemistry we will see you in the next lecture with some another topic thank you very much